We are reacting to the Kamisato Ayato Lanterns in the Night character teaser. Let's get straight into it. I haven't seen this yet, so it's going to be a pretty raw reaction here. Oh, oh that's his voice. Oh. <laughs> oh, there he is. Let's go. Oh, he looks amazing. Now, now that's a lot of paperwork. I feel sorry. Hmm, for sure, for sure. On three. What's that? The sword. Oh. Okay. All right, show me the good stuff. Fight something. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very chivalrous. Most inconvenient. Time to yeah, don't stay in the rain. Get inside. Was that the tea house? That's the tea house. Hmm? I knew it. Huh? Hello, my lord. Oh, it's Toma and Ayaka. What a surprise to run into you here, Ayato. Nice surprise. <laughs> One second, I'll go start some tea. Oh, Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Hey, come on. <laughs> you need to let me stand up. My oh, goodness. Ooh. <laughs> he looks sick. No, actually, we came here to His hair goes crazy. My lady. <laughs> oh, I actually really like his design. Super graceful, too. Mm, this live life is cool. People will draw their blade. That is true. Oh, he looks amazing. I cannot wait. I will summon on him twice if I can. That is insane. Here is Aito's homepage where they talk a little bit about his talents. And we're just going to get straight into it here. Um, I think there's just some hearsay here and there. Also, Hydro Sword user, uh, Constellation, whatever. Oh, his birthday is on the March 26th. So that's pretty much in two days. So he's not even, <laughs> he's going to come out after his birthday, which is unusual. Here is some of his ascension materials. So we're going to need some water gemstones. The Kamisato flowers. I forgot what they're called. Sakura blooms. You're going to need a bunch of those as well. And you're going to need a bunch of these materials as well for both his weapon and so yeah this is a new material i don't think i've ever seen this before but i think this is quite new it might be in the chasm i think i don't know it might be a new boss drop and we've got some more talent materials here and these are the elegance so if you guys want to farm that from now you're going to have to do a lot of farming but this is what you need for his talent obviously we're still going to need a lot of these hand guards and the Raiden Shogun boss material right here, the hand one. So make sure you save up on your dream solvent so you guys can get him to whatever level you want as soon as possible. Now, we have the talents over here, which is going to be a pretty interesting thing to look at here. It looks like he does five hits for his normal attack and he has a little sheath at the end. The charge attack looks sick as well. Looks like Kamisat Ayato's uh, or Ayaka's final attack on her attack animations, but I think that's okay. Here is his elemental skill. So this is where it gets a little bit interesting here. You see he has a little clone that he leaves as soon as you initiate the elemental skill and the AoE looks amazing. A little bit like the Raiden Shogun. You can see how long the AoE is, and I'm pretty sure it's going to hit a lot in this situation. Um, it deals an okay amount of damage, it looks like. I'm not really quite sure what his kit currently looks like, but hopefully it looks better in game. Now, in the state, he does normal attacks that convert to AoE Hydro Damage. This cannot be overridden. So if you have a C6 Bennett, this is going to be pretty nice because he's still going to apply hide. After you use his elemental skill and you actually hit an opponent, it will grant a Namisen effect, increasing the damage dealt based on Ayato's current max HP. You can get a maximum of four stacks this way wow that's pretty interesting so if this is like a percentage maybe like one percent and you can get around four percent more damage that'll be interesting that would be very interesting and one second we gain through every 0.1 seconds i'm assuming after you hit an opponent then the effect will be dispelled once the elemental skill duration 
and you will also gain resistance to interruption as well as you will not be able to use charged or normal attack or oh, not normal attacks plunging attack obviously you're only going to be using normal attacks uh tartaglia when he's in his elemental skill state you can use charge attacks but you can't use splendid. So this is going to be a little bit different than Tartaglia, obviously. Once you reinitiate the elemental skill, it will clear the, you know, the items that's already on the field, the little cone here, and it will reset the stacks as well. That is very interesting. I'm really glad that it has a really large AOE, so it can, you know, apply Hydro to like a bunch of opponents, because right now, Ching Cho doesn't really do that. Ching Cho's single target. Uh, maybe the likes of Kokomi and Mona that do like AoE are now challenged a little bit by Kamisato Ayato here, which is pretty interesting. Now his burst is really interesting. As you guys can see, once he uses his elemental burst, he actually has a decent AoE. No matter where these guys are, whether you hit them on the left, the right, the center, it will do a AoE that actually hits, you know, all of them, which actually sounds really good. Especially if you have teams with Freeze, Vaporize, um, this will actually work really nicely. Now, when you are in the AoE, you actually increase the normal attack damage of the characters within. You might actually see a QE combo for Kamisata Ayato, so you can actually gain normal attack damage. So you maybe you Q, you E, and you do a bunch of hits and maybe switch out. That is going to be pretty interesting to see. And I cannot wait for him to actually come out so we can actually test him out. I think this is just hearsay, some voiceover stuff. Yep. And his boba, his boba spilled. Oh, his day is ruined. All right. But yeah, that is going to be it for the Ayato stuff. I am very excited for his actual arrival to the game. Hopefully, he is as good as we see here. There is still a lot to do. He found out about this character so let's be very patient until he actually comes out now if you guys are planning to summon on him please make sure to actually do the trial run watch some youtube videos on him whether he's you know the right person for you whether he's fun or not whether you know you want him to be meta or not just wait out on a couple of videos to see if people actually do like him obviously if you do like him in the trial you should summon him anyway uh, but yeah, that's going to be it from me. I'll be summoning on his banner once it does come out. I'll also be reacting to his character trailer, which is going to be coming out like around 24 hours before he actually comes out. So that is going to be an exciting time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider liking this video as well. Subscribing to the channel as well. I will see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.